आई एस टी वी प्रेजेंट्स इन एसोसिएशन विद धनमंजूरी कम्युनिटी कॉलेज दी एम यूनिवर्सिटी इम्फा लॉन्सिंग सीरीज ऑफ एजुकेशनल प्रोग्राम रिकॉर्डेड ऑनलाइन क्लासेस फॉर अंडर ग्रेजुएट एंड पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट स्टूडेंट्स बाय टीचर्स फ्रॉम वेरियस कॉलेज एंड यूनिवर्सिटीज ड्यूरिंग दिस कोविड नाइन्टीन लॉकडाउन एवरी डे ऑन आई एस टी वी नॉन इन एट पी एम From 24th May 2020 onwards, what's for that? Only on IHTV Nongin. My name is Sojangam Kishun. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic lockdown, we could not take regular class in our respective college. Uh, generally in my college i teach molecular biology and bioinformatics in this very e lecture uh, i will be discuss on recombinant dna technology uh, i hope this lecture will help to especially bsc 6 semester and msc student as well uh, before i go with the D recombinant dna technology i just want to briefly in, uh, introduce what is uh, dna So it is estimated that around three thirty thousand to one lakh twenty thousand genes are present in the DNA of a normal cell, and only fractions of these are used to express in a particular cells at a given time. The genes are is a segment of DNA, and and is considered as a fundamental unit of inheritance, and ultimate determine of. a uh, phenotype of an organism genes are composed of uh, dna that is deoxyribonucleic acid uh, except in some viruses that is made up of uh, rna the dna is generally composed of uh, deoxy bandos sugar and <coughs> uh, phosphate group as well as uh, nitrogenous species and the nitrogenous species consists of cytosine Uh, guanine adenine and thymine if you see on the uh, on the pictures <coughs> generally cytosine pairs with guanine with three hydrogen bonds and adenine pairs with thymine with two hydrogen bonds uh, to introduce what is recombinant dna technology uh, it may be defined as a joining together of dna molecules from different organisms or species and inserting into a host organisms to produce new genetic recombination that are valued to science medicine agriculture and industry recombinant dna technology is also gen uh, called as genetic engineering <coughs> where we directly manipulate the uh, the the genome of an or the gene of an organisms and if any organism that is produced generally we call it as a genetically modified organisms or transgenic plant or transgenic animals where the foreign dna or genetic materials from other species is inserted into the organisms so recombinant dna technology has made it possible to isolate one genes or uh, or any other segments of dna enabling researchers to determine its nucleotide sequences study its transcript mutate it in highly specific way and reinsert the modified sequence into the living organisms that makes the genetically modified organisms or transgenic plant or transgenic animals uh, the total length of a human genome is over more than 300 base pairs and finding a gene of interest in the in this genome is is like a uh or finding a needles in a hesek so it is a, a bit more complicated and a bit more complex about the recombinant dna technology how the the recombinant dna technology or the genetic modified organisms is meet <coughs> first and foremost is isolate the dna and the vectors so the, the dna may be from any organisms and gene of interest may be isolated from the from the organisms and the Uh, and and the generally vectors as a as as a uh, as a carrier where the gene of interest can be can be transferred into the host cell and the second point is 
cutting the desired DNA by restriction uh, enzymes or by sonication. Restriction enzymes, or we call it as a restriction endonucleases, or even we call it as a molecular scissor, where these enzymes cut the double-stranded DNA in, uh, in, into various fragments uh, or various, at the various sites, which we call as a palindromic site. And generally, the microbes, especially bacteria and archaea, produces the restriction enzymes to protect against uh, from the virus uh, by, by cutting the foreign DNA that enters their cells and their own DNA is generally protected by the uh, true methylation by the enzymes called methyl transferase and sonication is the kind of technique where high energy, um, high energy uh, frequency is m more than 20 kilohertz is given to the samples and where various molecules can be separated. So that the third point is the uh, amplification the gene copies by PCR. So PCR is nothing but it is a, uh, the full form is a polymerase chain reaction. So the PCR is a molecular biology technique where the small fragments of DNA can be amplified into a million fold. In this kind of uh, PCR technique, we require various enzymes um, like a uh, DEC polymerase, or uh, various salt and other components are required to make uh, uh, the works PCR. And the fourth, the fourth point is inserting the genes into the vector. So the, generally the vectors, in most of the cases, uh, <coughs> in most of the lab, the vectors are, are, has various types or various kinds. Some of the vectors may be a blasmids or, or phages or the yeast artificial chromosomes or the bacterial artificial chromosomes are generally used. But in the case of uh, this, uh, in, in my topic, I'll more focus on the plasmid. So the plasmid has a various kind of characters where they have an origin of replication, where they have a restriction sites, or even they have a, a selectable marker genes, okay? <clears throat> so in the sixth point, after the gene of interest is, is inserted into the vectors, uh, with the help of enzyme lycase, in the case of uh, plasmid vectors, finally introduced into the host cell by transformation. Transformation can take place in a various, uh, various ways. The first one is uh, electroporation. Electroporation is given an electric shock to the, to the given uh, to the cell where it takes up the foreign DNA, or even we, uh, we can go with the calcium chloride uh, transformation or even we go with the gene gun, where the plasmid or the gene of interest DNA is coated with the nano gold particles and bombarded into the tissue and cells where the transformation takes place. And even the transformation can takes place using a bacteria called the Acrobacterium tumefaciens. And that uh, Acrobacterium tumefaciens, I'll go, uh, I'll discuss more in details in my coming in, in the in my next slide. And the last point is a uh, multiplication and selection of cells with recombinant DNA <clears throat> or the gene of interest with the desired uh, traits or the products. Uh, in this slide, it shows the, how the DNA, uh, the various applications of uh, d recombinant DNA technology. The first one is a therapeutic products, or it can be used for diagnostic, or it can be used for Protections of bioenergy, or even it, it is more important is even it used in the uh, in the in the agriculture crops. What we call it is a genetically modified uh, vegetables or crops or microbes or the animals. The first one, <clears throat> uh, the first one the, about the therapeutic product is is the protections of recombinant human insulin. Uh, generally, in the olden days, human insulin is basically depends on animal source, mainly from the pigs and the cattle. But with the help of recombinant DNA technology, we insert the human, uh, human insulin genes into the expression vectors like E. coli, where the insulin can be expressed and any insulin dependent uh, the diabetic patients can take the insulin or uh, even we can, we can grow human growth hormones, uh, generally to treat the growth disorder in, in children, the gene clones uh, from a cDNA library and inserted into the E. coli cells by cloning into the bacterial vectors and the hormones can be isolated. 
And in the case of the diagnosis, adenovirus vectors is used generally uh, as one example, the most commonly employed uh, vector for uh, cancer gene therapy and vaccine uh, to express uh, for foreign antigens. If we, if we go with the uh, genetically modified uh, products or the genetically modified crops, the one example is uh, Colton rice, where the, the rice plant is, uh, is incorporated with the foreign genes, one from the daffodil plants called the phyton synthase, and from another from the bacteria, bacteria called uh, the genes called the phyton uh, desaturase uh, from the bacteria Erwinia where these two genes are, are transformed or inserted into the genome of the rice plant, where it helps in the biosynthesis of, of, of beta-carotene. And it is believed that uh, these colton rice uh, that are rich in a vitamin A will competing vitamin A deficiency, especially in a developing and uh, underdeveloped countries. And uh, the transgenic animals, <laughs> about the transgenic animals or the genetically modified uh, uh, animals is one example is a, we call it a glowfish. This fish is the first transgenic animals or recombinant DNA animals that has been approved for human use by the United States Food and Drug Development. So this fish has been genetically modified or through recombinant uh, DNA technology where the genes called the green fluorescent protein has been ins is inserted into the into the fish and this fish has been used in the aquarium as bat or bat or domesticated uh, animals so uh, i'll talk more details about the uh, bd cotton the success story about recombinant dna technology or the genetic engineering in india the adoption and success of bd cotton crops was one of the best example of genetic engineering so with the, with the success of BT cotton, India is among the largest and the finest producers of cotton in the world. BT cotton resists against the uh, co cotton pollworm called the Helicoverba armigera. Uh, if you see the pointer, you can see here with the first one is a BT cotton that has not been infested by the insect at all. If it's uh, without the BT, uh, without the BT or the natural cotton, uh, other cotton, uh, or the non-recombinant cotton, it is generally eaten by the insect called the pollworm. And <clears throat> so now I'll discuss how the recombinant uh, BD cotton was made. So um, now before uh, how the how it is made, <coughs> how the plasmid was isolated, and how it is made. So uh, to, uh, to 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 make a recombinant BD cotton, uh, the DI plasmid is a require is required as a vector. So DI is a tumor inducing plasmid and it's a circular plasmid found, uh, found or derived from a gram positive bacterium uh, called Acrobacterium tumefaciens, uh, used to transduce its genetic materials in plant. So the, and the DI plasmids consist of two components, DDNA and the virulent regions. During transformation, the DDNA excised from the DI plasmid and transferred and integrated into the host DNA. Virulent regions generally helps in the transfer process. DDNA, or we call it a transfer DNA, also contains oncogen, especially auxin and cytokinin uh, hormones, uh, synthesis genes, which causes crown call to the host plant as you can see on the on the slide with the with the pointer how the plants if any uh, the, uh, the bacteria infect uh, the plant it causes a ground call uh, the opine catabolism region also present in the plasmids uh, that produces the carbon and nitrogen which is the main source for the food of the bacteria so what the scientists do is that the scientists uh, manipulate the di uh, di plasmid by removing the the D regions of the of the plasmid and insert a gene of interest into the uh, DI plasmid to remove the DNA, we use a restriction enzymes where it got the specific regions of the of the plasmid. Generally, the plasmid has, as I said, the plasmid has three generally most three uh, important characters. The first one is uh, they have a restriction sites and the, even they have an origin of replication where they can replicate. At the same time. Uh, plasmid has also a selectable marker genes that resist antibiotic 
like like kenamycin, where the kenamycin uh, arrest the growth of the normal cell, but inhibit or arrest the growth of the normal cell, but it allows to grow the recombinant cell or the recombinant plant. Do the DI plasmid. What the scientists do is that they introduce a, a cry genes. Okay, the cry genes CRY CRY genes <clears throat> that is isolated from the gram-positive soil bacterium uh, called Bacillus thuringiensis, and they transform into the plasmid that forms a recombinant DI plasmid. DI plasmid has been transformed into the plant tissue. And later on, with the help of selective, selectable uh, marker genes or the markers, only the recombinant, recombinant, uh, recombinant plant cells are selected and the tissue and later on the complete plant can be regenerated uh, through this process. So the gene has been successfully uh, transferred to the plant like, uh, like cotton or, or the brinjals generally which we call as a BD cotton or the BD brinjals, uh, generally to fight or to target insects, uh, insects of Lepidoptera, Diptera and Coleoptera. Just briefly highlight again what is cryogens. The cryogens are obtained from the gram-positive soil dwelling bacterium, Bacillus thuringiensis, and the cryogens uh, which has uh, insecticidal, insecticidal properties. So the crystal proteins uh, are generally protoxin of size about 27 to 140 kilotelton, which solubilize in the uh, alkaline environment, maybe pH uh, 910, of the insect midgut and are proteolytically converted uh, crystal associated or larval midgut proteins into uh, toxic polypeptide core fragments. And that this toxin induces the formation of small non-specific pores uh, in the membrane of the susceptible uh, cell resulting in the net influx of ions and accompanying inflow of water. As a result, the cell swells and lies, which causes the insect, insect death or the insect dies of sept septicemia. That means the toxin, the BD toxin, the pores that puncture the midcut of the, the insect. As a result, there is influx of ion and accompanying inflow of water. As a result, the, the insect dies of uh, septicemia. So this is the structure once the about how the, the insect fed and how the insect died generally the uh, the pt cotton the leaf generally the leaf or the tissues generally express the crystal spores or the protein and when the insect uh, insect eaten up the leaf along with the the protoxin uh, in the alkaline gut of the insect it activates the protoxin into delta endo endotoxin and later on it's it perforates the gut membrane and the insect generally die. This is how the, the, the mechanism. Um, the main advantage uh, of um, this, this kind of genetically engineered uh, organisms or the, or the recombinant technology is for the welfare of the mankind, uh, especially for the food security. The first generation plant breeding called the Green Revolution um, by Nobel laureates, Professor Borlaug, which revolutionized the agricultural crop production that fits millions of uh, millions of people even in india it was headed by the dr swaminathan second generation crop was also produced using the hybrid vigor because of the explosion of population at present more than 7 billion population uh, around the world the third generation or the development is required so that, that will be the uh, the biotech crop or the genetical engineering will be the, the answer it, it is also reported that half of the world population is still, uh, especially in the developing and uh, underdeveloping countries, is still under undernourished or still uh, uh, or still starving. So, for the welfare of uh, humankind, recombinant DNA technology can be one of the solution. Forward genetics, where examination of genetics caused or the altered by the by the phenotype, or the reverse genetics where the examination of phenotype caused by the deletion or mutation of, of, of genes has to be studied and this play an important role in the genetical uh, engineering technology. Along with, the, along, along with the recombinant DNA technology, there may be various other challenges such as soil fertility, salinity, pollution, water and drought may be, may be as, uh, as other factors. By transfer of technologies, Policies and legislation has to go hand in hand for sustainable and future food, food security as well. That is the success story of all about uh, BD cotton. And if we go, if we talk about BD brinjal, B 
PT Prinjal was successfully genetically in, uh, engineered crop uh, uh, where the the cry genes has been inserted into the into the PT Prinjal way back in uh, 2006 uh, by the three uh, three collaborative uh, in company or the institute. One is a Maharashtra hybrid seed company. The other one is a uh, a University of Agriculture Tharwat and the Tamil Nadu Agriculture University, uh, the, the three, the three institute, and they they created the PT Prinjals and biosafety was cleared for commercialization of PT Prinjals by the review committee of genetic modified uh, modification and the genetics engineering approval committee, but because of the protests of some scientists, farmers, and other activists, the uh, the government of India imposes. The, the 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 commercialization of 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 bd brinjal saying that until we arrive at a political scientific and societal consensus uh, this implementation for commercialization of bd brinjal uh, has been postponed uh, thank you ISTV presents in association with Dhanamanjuri Community College DM University Impha launching a series of educational programs recorded online classes for undergraduate and postgraduate students by teachers from various colleges and universities during this COVID-19 lockdown every day on ISTV Nongin 8 p.m from 24th may 2020 onwards what's potent only on ihtb nongin <laughs> <laughs>